India's first blockchain marriage. Recently, an Indian couple got married through a blockchain wedding, marking the first digital wedding in India. The couple immortalized their vows during a smart contract, uh, using a smart contract on the Ethereum or ETH blockchain the same day as their civil marriage in court. Uh, Anup Paki, a quote unquote digital priest, officiated the couple's digital wedding. Paki minted the couple's non fungible token, or NFT, that contained an image of the bride's hands wearing her engagement and wedding rings and the text of their marital vows. The couple's NFT was minted on the OpenSea platform, currently the largest NFT marketplace. Uh, Nara Sipuram said, uh, the groom said, we read out the vows and after receiving the blessing of our digital priest, I transferred the NFT to my wife's digital wallet, similar to the groom putting the ring on his bride. The groom stated that the wedding's transaction is a quote, permanent, immutable, and public record of our commitment to each other on the ETH blockchain. Hey, um, we also had a marriage in the metaverse recently, wasn't that? Um, is that the same thing or is that separate? No, I, I think, think that was separate. separate. Okay. Um, that's very interesting. So, so wait, what wallet was used? Was it the? Was it the? Which wallet? It started it? with the groom, yeah. and then he he, he and then he transferred it to the wallet of his wife. Okay, but was it the representing Metamask? putting a ring on her finger? Let's go. Okay, let's see the contract. Hmm, hmm, hmm. This transaction will be soon processed. Okay, did, did uh, what was the gas fee on this contract? He said it was about was thirty-five dollars. Thirty-five dollars. Oh, no, I want to read. It? No, show the tweet. I want to read it. Oh, okay, sorry. Go. Ahead. So it says, by the power invested in me by Ethereum, uh, this transaction will soon be processed. And now by the power invested in me by Ethereum, it is my honor and delight to declare you married. Go forth and live each day to the fullest. I'm so pleased to pre present the newlyweds. How did he pay such low gas fees? $35? That must be a good time to... Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, that's what you focus on? <laughs> Okay, that's very good. No, but I'm I'm kind of a, a little bit disappointed because it wasn't done on the Polygon blockchain, because Polygon Ethereum, Polygon is an Indian originated in India, right? So they should this is an Indian couple. Actually, it doesn't matter. Ethereum is more trustworthy. But anyway, this is pretty interesting. Oh I think there's going to be a lot more um, blockchain marriages. What do you think? I think so. I think yeah. There's people are going to have to find a way to like make it more kind of fun. Uh, yeah. Because instead of just sitting on your laptops, like now we have to wait for it to go. I okay, mean, now the transaction's the through, you know. Wait, that's the same thing as a for um, non smart contract way of doing us. Like, do, do you think like if, so we have a wedding and everything like that, right? But if you have if the process of creating a contract in the off the blockchain is also not very exciting, right? This is actually more exciting <laughs> right? because the, the, I mean, how exciting is the documentation of your marriage and the legal work and the stamp and the signature? Okay. And I'm pretty sure like, like how long did that take? It took a few minutes, right? I think like if you're doing the legal work for your marriage contract, that takes longer, right? Also, this is a lot more official. People, everybody can see it. It's transparent. It's immutable. Your marriage is immutable. Wait, how do you divorce then? If your marriage is immutable on the blockchain, that's what I was how, thinking about. You can't undo this contract. We don't have temporary. Uh, you should, yeah. Maybe there's something that they've organized hmm. where it's like, should they mutually? decide or under maybe they have a prenup i don't know like then she would transfer the nft back into his wallet mm -hmm. you know it's it's kind of is i think this was very smart because they're the first like they these people are just now marked their names in history right like <laughs> the second the second or third person or the fourth person that does this is never going to be as significant as 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 them right they have managed to with they just pay $35 only to mark for forever to be part of history. Their marriage is not part of history. They're the first blockchain marriage. That was very smart. That's very clever. 
yeah, the guy was saying that he's he's like, I think this is what we're going to be doing in the future. Oh, this look, is where we're moving it, towards. Ether, it's, you can see their marriage on Etherscan. Their marriage is transparent and available for everybody to view on <laughs> Etherscan for eternity. That's amazing. <laughs> this is cute. Um, how does this go? Only five likes on Twitter. I'm not going to like it because it's going to take me away from this page and it's going to take, take me to Twitter, I think, if I like it. But you should get <laughs> Do it <likes>. anyways. <laughs> this is history. Yeah, let me like this. What's going to happen? <laughs> See, I knew it. It's going to take me to Twitter. You're going to be randomly like, oh my gosh, like this huge count just liked this out of nowhere. For some reason, they this happened back a few months ago, but it just made the news cycle recently. Oh, look, there's more pictures. Yeah, okay, you can here. actually see what their NFT token looks like. See, that's the picture that is in their NFT. Okay. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, it was weird. Look, <laughs> this is cute. I don't know if people think this is cringe. I think, yes, it is the MetaMask. They did it using the MetaMask wallet. Is this the MetaMask? Yes, it is. Okay, I really like this. <laughs> Why is this not getting more attention? This is the first blockchain marriage in the world. Why is this only have It seven, did get like, a lot of attention like... in the news cycle. Uh, oh, Just but not so much same... on Twitter. I don't know why. Yeah. I, don't know, I think this is kind of romantic. It's the first. It's unique. It's like, you know, because like, because it's unique. Because it's the first. I think it's very clever. I, I'm surprised nobody did it until they decided to do that. Right. By the way, guys, like India is like a major source of innovation when it comes to the blockchain right now. Okay. Like India, this is if okay if blockchain becomes as big of the internet. Okay. If anyone Indian here should be like excited about this, okay? Because we're like looking at the competition between China and India, okay? And China decided to b ban blockchain, okay? And India decided to legalize it, okay? So if you're Indian and you're like be, trying to be optimistic about the future of the world, if you're if you're looking about future economic powers, and we're looking the main two candidates, like well, the main two. It seems like a lot of the world's economy is going in the future is going to be dominated the main uh, dominated by India and China, right? And if India is leaning into blockchain and China is moving away from it, this might be a major competitive advantage because India has been historically a major source of entrepreneurship, right? It's in the tech space, right? So I'm so glad that they didn't close this door to India. Okay, this could this is going to provide a lot of opportunities for indian entrepreneurs right this is hilarious great jedi is saying okay so <laughs> someone marry me on the blockchain so i can get the first blockchain divorce <laughs> <laughs> i know there's like new nfts that are that are that you could that are temporary like i don't know actually i know like there are temporary they're, they're coming up with ways to make temporary nfts Oh yeah, this would be good for Muslims when you do for Shia Muslims who want to have temporary marriages, right? So you could have, mm. um, you could have, you could like mint your marriages uh, and have it set the expiry date based on exactly how long you want to be married to somebody, right? So you could do uh, five day NFT marriages or two year, one year marriages and set it expired to exactly. Yeah, there are a lot of things that would be possible. So yeah, this is the future, guys. Welcome to the future. What do people think about this in the live chat? Uh, people either think that this is lame or they're like, good for them. It's like, it's a 15 minutes of fame thing. Well, yeah, what's wrong with that? They're, they celebrated like, first of all, um, um, isn't every marriage um, a temporary attention to a celebration of two people coming together? Well, isn't wedding. every wedding like that? They yeah, don't the all wedding, make the, the news. Well, yeah, theirs was bigger because of the uh, creative way that they came up with celebrating it. Like, isn't that every, like all other marriages like that as well? You're just like you just like uh, want to. You don't like something, and you just want to not. You're just a hater. People. Yeah, no, other people are enjoying it. If you don't like it, you don't have to like it. So you don't. If you don't like it, then don't do it. Either they're having fun with it and they enjoy it. So what's wrong with it? Right, yeah, NFT Sierra is that exactly awesome. We should have NFT, we should create the, the first NFT Sierra uh, on the blockchain. Explain um, what that is for people who don't know. 
Sira is like temporary marriage in Shia Islam. This is something a lot of Sunnis hate on Shias for. They basically Sunnis will say to Shias that you guys are basically legal uh, Islamized prostitution. That's because they, they did. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you're supposed to take the Shia side. What are you doing? Why are you taking? Why are you I mean, I'm not saying that's a bad thing. <laughs> oh yeah, you're right. You're right. You're, right. you're pro sex work. Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder Armin Avabi blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.